Today I wanted to share a favorites video with you. It has been a very, very long time since I've done a favorites video. I think the last one I did was like in April of 2018. I kind of fell out of the habit of doing them. And honestly, part of the reason for that is just because I've fallen kind of into a makeup rut. And so pretty much through all of 2018, a lot of my makeup just stayed the same. So um, I mentioned like the Lumiere ColourPop Lippy Stick in that April 2018's favorites video, I think, and I still love that I finally used it up. I use that pretty much every day that I wore lipstick this year. But I had a few things that I want to share with you guys. I just have a few beauty products, and most of the other stuff is kind of just like random stuff that I've really been liking lately, but I wanted to mention to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I do have a couple of makeup products that I've been using a lot that I haven't mentioned much on my channel that I just wanted to point out that have been favorites pretty much the last year. So the first one is the Tarte Clay Play Palette. This was the volume one, one that was like just the neutral colored one. This palette was fantastic. Um, it smells really good, but I overall just love this palette because it just has such great everyday um, colors. So I tend to use these two colors pretty much every single day as like fill-in ones when I don't have great matte cream or blending transition colors in my palettes. I end up using this for really easy looks with these looks over here. I take this with me when I travel. For some reason, I reach into this one almost every single day for one of the colors, either to darken up with one of the browns or to highlight or to blend out with one of the colors. This palette was one that surprised me. I bought it because it was on sale. I mentioned that in a video not too long ago, but this palette is amazing. I know that they like moved it out. I think that they did a volume two that didn't go over super well. If you can find this one somewhere, I would recommend picking it up if you see it on like Poshmark or something like that because it is a fantastic palette. I use mine constantly. My face makeup on my cheek has pretty much stayed the same for the last like year or so. But there are a couple blushes that I've loved that have been in that rotation. So a lot of times, and this looks super dirty, a lot of times I will tend to blend these two blushes. So this is the Balm Instain blush, and this one specifically is in Houndstooth, which is just like a really pretty mauve color. And these Instain blushes are great because they do stay on a little bit longer than other blushes. Um, this one I use pretty much every day for months, and you can barely even see a dent in it. But this one is an amazing blush. And then I often pair that one with the Benefit Rockateur blush. So this one is the one that's kind of like a shimmery, rose goldy color. It's not, it's a pretty subtle blush as a whole, but I really, really like it. I, I'm going to be close to hitting pan soon on this one, I think. I can kind of see the bottom and like the ridges and stuff on that one. But I like these two together. It's what I'm wearing today. It's just a very basic um, cheek look that goes with pretty much everything. And I really, really enjoy it. But I find that it stays on really well and it's not overdone. The other part of my cheek look that has not really changed at all in the last few months has been this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in Lunch Money. So this one is, I don't know if you guys can see it there, this one is more of a champagne color here. This one I've been using forever. I've been using it pretty much every day for at least a year now and it's still going. But I love this highlighter because it is a really pretty just more natural glow from within. I have it on today, but I have another highlighter topping it. This one is one that I really like because I can wear it by itself for like a more natural look if I'm going for a natural makeup look that day, or I can layer it and it still looks really nice. But the formula of these, I didn't realize how much I liked them until I started using this one a lot more and I just really enjoy it. I want to pick up more of these Super Shock Cheek highlighters. I don't need any more right now. Obviously this one's lasted me forever, but if you guys have any more good recommendations for your favorites of these colors, so this one's in Lunch Money, but if you have any other ones that you really recommend that you think are great, let me know that. The last beauty product that I have right now is this Katy Perry's Indie Perfume. My cats are running around like crazy, so if you hear random noises, I'm sorry. This Katy Perry's Indie Perfume, I actually got this from Influencer, but I love the smell of it. It's more of like a spicy sweet scent, and it's one that out of the bottle I might not love, but I find that it's a really good perfume that's not overly mature smelling and it's not overly young smelling. I tend to, a lot of my perfumes tend to be kind of on the young smelling side that are more like sweet and candy-ish, and this one is a really good blend of the two. I'm almost 30, I should be wearing more mature scents, so I really like this one more than I expected to. When I got an influencer I was kind of like, meh. But I actually really, really like this one. It's become one of my go-to perfumes, surprisingly. I have two pieces of clothing favorites that I've been living in the last few months. The first one is more of like a home wearing and it has cat hair all over it. But these are a pair of Sunita joggers, so I will try those on so you can see them. But 
These are super, super comfortable. They have pockets. They're super soft. I love the material. And I actually own these in three colors now. I have them in black and kind of a muted pink and like a burgundy color. I love these. I have, If I'm at home, I'm usually wearing one of my pairs of joggers. The first pair that I got, I got in a size small, which I probably should have sized down because I realized that those were too big. I still wear them. I just roll them a little bit, but these extra smalls actually fit me a lot better. And I'm usually small in most of the stuff that I wear. So I think if you are looking at these joggers, I would recommend you size down in them. I do plan on doing a haul with some exercise stuff, some stuff from Sunita and FlexFit and Gymshark coming up in the next week or so, so I will show the other colors of these in that video as well. But I am a really big fan of these joggers, so if you're looking for a good pair, I would recommend checking out the um, Sunita brand. They are one of my favorite brands. They are owned by two sisters. I talk about them a lot. I did an exercise clothes haul not too long ago. Well, I guess it was probably a while now. I think it was in like October, but I'll leave that linked here if you want to see some other stuff from Sunita, but I really like them as a brand. These joggers have been lived in. The other fashion thing that I've been wearing a ton recently is a pair of American Eagle jeans. They are the American Eagle Next Level Super High Waisted Jeggings, and I love these because I feel like the super high waisted is very, very flattering as a whole. For a long time, there was the trend of like the low rise and whatever, and it's just not cute. The high waisted are much more flattering, they kind of suck you in. And this pair has a button fly, which I'd never tried before, but I really, really like. There's something about it that just makes it more timeless to me, I guess. I don't know. It takes me back a little bit. But I think that these are super comfortable. They're really stretchy. I wish they had more colors of these buttonfly ones because I think they're super cute. If you guys have any good suggestions for similar style to these that are like the buttonfly ones that are high-waisted, let me know that because I generally buy my jeans from American Eagle, but if I could find a really good pair that I think are cute and really flattering, I would be willing to invest more because American Eagle is generally fairly inexpensive. There's always sales and stuff, but if you guys have a recommendation for another good brand that's similar to this style and different washes, let me know because I would love to check those out. Other than that, one last like physical thing that I have in front of me is these are the Trader Joe's Stroop Waffles. I don't know if that's how you pronounce them. They're the Dutch Caramel Waffle Cookies. I got these from my mother-in-law for Christmas, and I ate all of them in about two days. They're so good. I had never tried these before. They're basically like a waffle crisp type thing with caramel in between them, and they're delicious. I bought another one because they. I went to go to Trader Joe's after I ate all of these to get more, and they're seasonal, so they don't have more of these, but they had another brand that had a smaller version of them that I bought that weren't quite as good. I'm tempted to go onto Amazon and see if I can find ones more similar to these because I really, really liked these. Those are really good. So if you are familiar with those and you know where to buy good ones, let me know because I want more. They were delicious. Other than that, I have two more media things that I want to mention and then that's it for my favorite. So my favorite TV show that I've watched recently that I completely binged was Schitt's Creek, S-C-H-I-T-T. Shit's Creek. So basically, this show is a show that's set around a family of a mom and dad, a daughter and a son. They're super wealthy, they're living a really charmed life, and then their business manager ends up embezzling a ton of money and they get all of their stuff taken away from them. The only thing that they have left is this town that they bought um, on a whim because they thought the name was Funny Shit's Creek, and so they can go move there and live there. And so it's them trying to adjust to life in this small town and not having very much money and trying to cope with that. They are on the fifth season right now, the fifth season's airing right now, and then the other four seasons are on Netflix right now. I watched all of it within about a week or so. The seasons are fairly short, they're like 12 to 13 episodes, but it is such a good show. I didn't fully buy into it until about the third season. I liked it, but it wasn't like enthralled with it, but like by the third season, now I'm obsessed with it, and I absolutely love it. The show is one that you really have to watch because a lot of the funny parts of it are really about the interactions and the facial expressions and things like that. If there are other people doing the parts, it might not be as funny, but the way that they present it is funny. I don't know. I absolutely love it. It is super cute. There's some really cute relationships in like the later seasons that I really enjoy. I'm kind of obsessed. I've rewatched a bunch of episodes a bunch of times because it's just such a good show. So if you haven't checked that one out before, I would highly recommend it. It's not one that I think is like crazy, crazy popular. Um, I think it's getting more popular now, but if you haven't checked it out, I would highly recommend it. It's a little bit more difficult to find just because it's not broadcast on like regular basic broadcast networks, but I think it's on Hulu as it goes up, If I think. 
The last thing I'm going to mention is an EP. So I've been listening to Dodie's EP, Human, that she released, I think, like last week, which is a beautiful EP. She is such a brilliant songwriter. I love her songs. She's a YouTuber, so if you haven't checked her out, I think her channel name is Dada Laddle. But some of the songs in her EP she'd already released on her channel. So there was a song called Not What I Meant that on her channel was called Better Content that I loved. And I was really excited when I saw that she released that on her EP. The song Monster I am obsessed with. It is such a catchy song that gets stuck in my head and I can just jam out to. I listen to it over and over again. Arms Unfolding is beautiful. I really just enjoy Dodie as a songwriter. I think in one of my last two favorites videos I either mentioned I can't remember if it was the April one or the one before that, but Dodie's EP U, which is also beautiful. I love her as a musician. I think she just produces beautiful music. So if you've never checked out Dodie before, I would highly recommend it. Her album Human is beautiful. I really, really like it. I think I like this one better than you, but I like both of them in very different ways. So if you haven't checked her out, I highly recommend it. All right, I think that's it for now. I'm sure that there were other things that I meant to mention that I forgot. I just... It's been so long since I filmed a favorites video that I'm sure that there's plenty of stuff that I'm like, oh yeah, I should have mentioned that. That was great. But anyway, if you guys have any suggestions on the Stroopwafels or other good highlighters in the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek line, like this one, so this one's Lush Money, any other recommendations for ones that you think I really should get, let me know that in the comments below. If you guys have any favorites that you've been loving this month, let me know those as well. I would love to hear the things that you've been really enjoying over the last little while. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.